Hello Aquarius and welcome to your month of December 2020 reading. So I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. The first card that I have is the Fool. Now it's exactly the first card that was for the Capricorn reading and I shuffle and meditate in between each sign so very interesting a new beginning for you also then i have the queen of cups and then i have the eight of wands it's a new beginning of uh, on the heart level on the vibration level of your waters that is going to um, kind of start this beautiful serendipity interactive play dance with life with the universe with the people around you under the fool i have an ace of cup now the ace of cup here right under the fool that that's like a leap of faith in love and under that i have the three of cups of joy celebration the shape like something that would actually bring your emotions up and want you to to make you celebrate you know um, something beautiful either it arrives at the end of November or the beginning of December for you uh, but there it is under our Queen of Cups I have the three of Wands this kind of will change what you expect from life. Under that I have the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Wands marking the end of a cycle of wands for you, of what you've been carrying on your shoulders, of uh, Ten of Wands, this is like all the responsibilities of, of and also all of the moves that other people made and that we are carrying with us on our shoulders you know like a, a back sack and um, sometimes not even realizing the weight of it but now we're going to lay it down and decide to follow our heart knight of cups i'm going to take my cup and i am actually going to bring it forward under the eight of wands i have the hermit and the High Priestess. Now these are cards also that came together. I don't know if it was for Sagittarius, I think. But there it is. Making moves from your higher self. From that a beautiful side that actually follows and listens to your soul. And will apply it. But with that beautiful dance with the universe. When we follow our soul. We're met right away by the universe. Um, you know, like we, we need to get somewhere because we feel it. All of a sudden, if we follow our soul, we'll get the roads that have no traffic. We'll find parking. You've, you've probably lived that beautiful when serendipity is hand in hand with uh, your movement. And there's that amazing flow. Of magic happening this is that combination and here I have a bottom of the deck um, the page of Pentacle so an offer something solid and so on let's clarify this for you uh, my beautiful Aquarius I call upon the divine I call upon the light I call upon the Holy Spirit Help me clarify this reading for Aquarius for the month of December 2020. One more time. Aquarius. Okay. 
Okay, let's look at the Fool. Why is the Fool here for Aquarius? Show me why is the Fool here. Ah, Ace of Wands. Because there's a brand new passion, a brand new... Mi and that's why the Ten of Wands is there. And that leap of faith is like, oh my God, this, I can leave all of that behind. You know, that expression waiting to excel. <sighs> Here, death, there's something that finishes. But at the same time, either you will finish it or it finishes for you. But there's this beautiful purification where that past cycle can end. And at the same time, it gives you that beautiful ace of wands. Let's look at that Queen of Cups. Oh, that was quick. Thank you. Ah, okay. The healing of here, the devil. We do have, and here is the star, to gain back faith. There's a lot of gaining back faith here. We do have, like I was saying for Capricorn and Sagittarius, we have Saturn that is in Capricorn now. Uh, it went, it was there in the spring, it went retrograde a bit during the summer, and now it's back in. And I think on its way back in, because of what you've understood from its lesson, because this looks like a gift from Saturn here. When Saturn, um, Yes, he's harsh with his lessons. You know, if you have a wound, he's going to put his finger in it. But when you gain back your power, when you stand who you are, when you have that kind of soul lesson and so on, he is very generous when you gain back your power. Here, emotionally healing from where you lost your power before. Gaining back your faith. Realigning yourself to your true self. To your soul. Let's look at that Eight of Wands. Two of Wands, Eight of Wands. So yes, this new Ace of Wands is actually opening up a brand new path in front of you. This is Lord of the Domain. So two Wands. There's the old way. Been there, done that. Here's that Ten of Wands that you are going to leave behind because you are going to follow that Ace of Cup. That kind of... And you got that Ace of Cup by allowing more in. More self-love. More... Uh, yes, I am allowing more love within me. Whether it comes from the universe or from somebody else, I am actually going to allow it in. There's that new wand. A leap of faith into that new thing outside of your comfort zone, but so much more aligned with who you truly are. So for some of you, it's in love. Others, it's in what you do. It's, it's going to have different outcomes okay to all of you Aquarius out there but this is the main energy that is that transformation that's happening let's look at that ace of cup ah wheel of fortune ten of wands that ace of cup by allowing more in you understood something there and that's what brought you that ace of wands also that is finishing that ten of one cycle here. The wheel of fortune turns when we can answer the riddle of that sphinx here. On the card you can read tarot or Torah, Ator, Rota. Um, it's, it's all the will of the law of the divine, of the law of nature. And that will, will of learning, will repeat the same things all the time or will bring you to a higher level. And in this case, is bringing you to a higher level because you are healing from his illusions. Or his illusions are, you know what the main role of the devil is? 
it's kind of to test your submarine. Uh, if we're a submarine, life is the ocean. Uh, sometimes we have beliefs, wounds, whatever. They're like cracks in our submarine. And when we dig, dive into life, that's when whew, it leaks in and we can, so we suffer and it's hell. That's his role. We need to heal um, and we need to make sure the integrity of our submarine is whole and we need to be in our power aligned with who we truly are and that's when we ha he has absolutely no more power on us because he has no more lessons to give to us here let's look at that three of cups Two of Pentacle Tower. So this go and here it opened on the Ace of Swords. Two of Pentacle, when it came to people around you, maybe that's when you were juggling, you know, maybe showing a good face, but ah, uh, feeling like shit inside. This is juggling socially. Tower. You got something. For for you to receive. The Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cup, the Fool, Ace of Wands. There's an understanding that came. There's a karma you understood. And because of that, that's how the tower crumbles. In the three steps of alignment, uh, of enlightenment in tarot, the first stage is the devil. Because you cannot rise in light if you don't face your devil. The second stage is the tower. Because once you faced your shadow and you see the lies you bought from it, then of course how you used to build things, how you used to act, how you used to do things is going to crumble. You've got the enlightenment. Oh my God. And then the third step is the star. Because that's when all of a sudden you gain back faith. You're not a victim anymore. And you are aligned with your star, with your soul with who you truly are no more trying to be but being here that's beautiful so it's an awakening you're getting right at the beginning of the month or you arrive with it so it's happening in the in those weeks there let's look at the tree of wands of course this opens up a completely new perception of what can come towards you from these new decisions page of cup ace of cup page of cup you are grasping that cup and okay ten of swords queen of swords your perception will change change the way you perceive like i was saying perceive what comes towards you i have the eight of cups because you were feeling uh, that this is going on that quest to start feeling fulfilled that that is what is important you got that notion six of sword you actually went and are still going to be able to move to calmer waters because of that decision and here is the hermit 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 um that's the light and the truth that you found within yourself. By going in, maybe you're going to do that, continue to do that during the month. It's going to become more and more conscious. Like you kind of got it, but it's going to go deeper into what it means. And how it actually is going to change your whole perception. Here, Ten of Wands and Knight of Cups. the world six of cups healing of the heart chakra being open to receive and give from your overflow of love with no expectations emotionally let's look at your hermit there under the eight of 
wands and the two of wands three of wands ace of pentacle so you're you have like two aces i think it was sagittarius that had like four aces um three of wands three of wands three of wands with the hermit three of wands with the hermit it everything you're going to start receiving is going to change because you're going to walk with and do things with integrity from your core of who you are of who your soul is and that it's like if before you were juggling maybe trying to please other people or something like that but then all of a sudden you're turning this towards you opening yourself to receive and that is going to change completely what is coming towards you and that's the beautiful thing about the hermit. It is that it's not walking fast, but it is walking in alignment with their true self. And that is bringing you a brand new pentacle. That's why we had like the page of pentacle here. And you will be able to see it at the end of the month. Ah, this is what this is the new seed that is coming towards me because I am changing my way of doing here. High Priestess. It's the end of a karma. A soul's karma. A soul lesson that was given to you by Saturn. And now you will understand it. Ah. Here is the Fool. Six of Pentacle. Four of Pentacle. No more in fear of lack or anything like that. This is going to be more of a new... Uh, a new cycle that's going to be much more balanced. A lot less juggling because we only have the bare minimum of our, you know. We're allowing more abundance in. Because we understand that that is our true nature. The, the, whatever it is going to be for you. Whether it is abundance in love financial whatever it is you're opening the door to it with this process here ending a karma or so of fear of receiving almost i feel that but the fool and the fool here during the month month you're going to more like concretize I don't know if that's a word uh, in English, but ground, make solid, um, the sleep of faith. And yes, it's going to bring you brand new beginnings. All right. So I'm, I'm going to call this leap of faith, but it is because you will have healed uh a shadow part of yours uh, okay brand new beginning leap of faith on this my beautiful Aquarius Merry Christmas on this month of December uh, Hanukkah um, and of course it's the winter solstice and that is a beautiful night to go within and face our shadow and bring light and consciousness into it because it's the beginning of the rise of light so um thank you for the ones of you that gave donations it helped more than you think and it is continuing to help more than you think a uh, new moon full moon i do a ceremony to give you back if you want a private reading the description is below there's an email in the plus section uh, to write to me and i'll give you all the info and apart from that all my love and light to you my beautiful aquarius and i'll see you next month all right 